Come on now, let's admit the fact that you guys are actually growing up now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today let's talk about uh, doing an agriculture under graduation from the private universities of the country. So, because the uh, government or uh, public universities are entering a little competitive. Ho jata hai. Honestly speaking, when I was back in class 12th, so, I didn't think that I'll be making it to government universities, not only agriculture but of any discipline, because I'm not of that worth. And I thought that it won't happen, I'll have to take a private admission in Manipal or in you know, uh, private universities, mein dekha tha, honestly speaking. At that point, I thought that I'm of no good, I should have taken it, I should take it now because I am of no worth. Or if I'll wait for a long duration of time, I'll have a college that I've had to shoot. Private universities ka jo admission hai wo khatam ho gaya, then mera ek saal hath se nikal gaya. Aisa lagne lagta hai, that's pretty normal and sabke saath hi hota hai, maximum loge saath hota hai. And if you are an average kind of a guy or a girl, then aisa thought aana bohot hi normal hai. Kyunki aisa lagta hai, sabko aisa lagta hai ek, ek point of time mein. So this is the reason I'm making this video. Like if you are thinking to go into the private universities and want to do an UG in agriculture then I think this video is for you because being an agriculture student myself and having seen people coming from agriculture universities the private ones I can give you a gist of the situation that has been going in and around so let's get started and let's go with this video I hope you will get a lot of insight after you watch this video so yeah let's go agriculture universities or any universities which you go into should have one recognition at first that is UGC recognized. Up, for example, XYZ University may have uh, UG undergrad, UG undergrad nahi hai. Undergrad in agriculture karna chahte hai, then you should be looking for the recognition. Is it UGC recognized? If it is UGC recognized, the step one is clear. After four years, that degree is going to be valid. If the university is uh, UGC recognized. Here comes the next step, which is predominantly for the agricultural universities. And it is the recognition by ICAR, that is Agri Indian Ag Council of Agricultural Research, right? This is a board, epics body that actually recognizes the agricultural university based on the qualities, based on the inspection that they do, they actually put out a list of the universities giving a rank to each agricultural university, right? Up ranking pe itna zada gore ka zarurat nahi hai if you did not appear for ICAR because the degree that you get from any of the ICAR approved university is going to be the same so it is not going to be a problem after graduating from any of the ICAR recognized university. If you get into government universities of agriculture then it is going to be ICAR recognized for sure. Asa hota hai. Government universities jo hai wo ICAR ka protocols bagera sab kuch follow karta hai. But private universities jo hai you should actually note that you should see the recognition. It should be UGC recognized. You should be it should be ICAR recognized. Uh, aisa hota hai actually and baad mein jake it, will, it is very difficult for the person to actually get into masters or get into job or anything as such because your degree is not even valid man. So the four years just goes into vain. Ye mat karna agar private universities ke liye ja rahe ho to definitely recognitions dekh ke hi jana. Next is your ICAR recognition that I already talked about. ICAR recognition kya hota hai na? I already told you that it is for the agricultural universities, right? So for example, agar aap masters karna chahte ho apna uh, undergraduation ke baad and if it is not from an ICAR recognized university then you are really going to have a very big problem because aap logo ko masters in government universities aap log nahi kar sakoge. Koi bhi subject mein agar masters Karna chahte ho, then up government university se masters bhi nahi kar paoge because your undergraduation was from a uh, university which is not ICAR recognized, right? So make sure ye dono ab recognition check kar lo that it is UGC recognized or it is ICAR recognized, right? Private universities ka ye bhi hai ki you know they charge a lot of money compared to government universities because I remember paying probably triple the amount that I'm paying to the college right now in my school time. So definitely uh, government universities ka jo fee structure hai that is actually way way affordable but in private universities it exceeds and uske alawa the one good thing about private university is you do have campus placements I, you know i have also come across a lot of students who told me about the campus campus placement that you get right after your undergraduation which rarely happens in government universities i mean you do not have a very rigorous campus placement opportunity but then if you go for off campus placement you might get placed right after your undergraduation because it is possible come on after undergraduation you if you want to do a job it is completely possible i talked about masters so that's a problem if you do it from a non-ica recognized university so the takeaway from this video would be 
if you want to go for private universities, first of all, check their recognition if it is UGC recognized and ICAR recognized. Next, the next step that you would follow if you are going for an undergraduate from a private university is that go and talk to the alumni of the university who actually did UG in agriculture because I also did the same. I talked with a few of the students who passed out from XYZ private university and then they told me about their experiences and what pros and cons, do's and don'ts. So it actually helps you a lot. And these days, you know, people are really looking forward to help you if you approach them properly. Right? Just don't go and say hi, hi, hello. Just go and say in a formal way. Type your queries and doubts about the university and that you are interested in pursuing that course. Is it worth it? So those kind of stuff you should learn. You should learn by now because almost all of you are probably 18, 19 years of age that are actually viewing this video. So I actually want that from you that you actually learn a little how to you know approach people formally. Come on now, let's admit the fact that you guys are actually growing up now and you know, you have to learn things which are not even taught in school, like approaching people, how to use social media for your benefit. Come on, these are the things that actually helps you in a long run. And in college, there won't be teachers pushing you to do your stuff. There won't be teachers to actually push you and ask you for your practicals, your homeworks, your PDFs, your files. So that's when your responsibility, your level of understanding for the problems does works a lot. And guys, thank you so much for uh, viewing this video if you found it useful please hit the subscribe button and drop the thumbs up because that's really motivating and motivates me to make more videos in the upcoming time so yeah itna sara queries mil raha tha yaar meko itna time nahi mil raha videos banane ke liye because mera exams chal raha hai yaar 10 din exams kaun deta hai hum log ka 10 subjects hota hai and probably all the semesters so har semester mein kind of 8 9 subjects 10 subjects hota hai and for those who do not know what is a semester meko ek question pucha tha bhaiya semester ka matlab kya hai dekho like for example aap class 6 se class 7 mein jaate ho ek saal complete hone ke baad jaate ho right in semester what happens say for example first and second semester first semester is class 5 second semester is class 6 so ab ek semester se dusra semester mein promote hone ke liye exam deke promote hona padta hai aur first semester matlab pehla semester ka jo cheez hota hai it is not really needed in the next semester estimated and approx that you already know the things of the first semester just like halaki aisa nahi hota hai i and we forget the things which we learned in the previous semester so we have to again look back if anything is required in the subsequent coming semesters in uh, school mein kya hota hai hum ek saal baad ek class se dusra class mein jaate hai right in college ab 6 months ke baad ek semester se dusra semester jaate ho right and in agriculture we have 4 years that is 4 into 2 8 semesters ek saal mein do semester hota hai so you will have to complete 8th semester before you get your degree of undergraduation in agriculture.